Hey guys, this is my video on the um, how to make your like grooming supplies. And I'm not sure what part it is because I haven't been keeping track and I haven't uploaded any yet. So yeah, um, if you guys are wondering like why there are gray black bars and you can only see it a tiny section, I don't have a camera yet. Like. I only have my iPod, so like, if anyone else has their iPod, do you know if you turn it sideways, will it show the full screen on YouTube, or just still the gray bars? Okay, if you answer that, thanks, just comment. So this is on how to make your curry comb, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Not great at brush names, I'm sorry, don't make fun of me. Okay, so you're going to need wire, pliers clay and you might oh here's the one I made if you don't like it then you don't have to do it eh where's my horsey it's, like, it's pretty good for homemade I think so um and it's optional but like if you can see that little brown stuff is supposed to be like fur or hair then you might want some paint and a little square of toilet paper. Okay, so let's get started. Um, with your wire, cut out a fairly long piece. And I'm not going to need all of it. Like I always say it's best to go bigger. And then kind of like. Okay, so with, if you have a bent up and some do you probably want to use now, so you don't have to straighten out for your hand. Just grab the end of it with your pliers and start twisting it in a sort of tight circle. Not too tight. Basically, however big you want it to be. Oh, great, I bent it. Yeah, so just keep. Oh, I messed it up. Darn it. Twisting it in a circle. This is not going well. Why can't I get it? Gosh darn it. Use this minor interruption. Yeah, that's good enough. There's my circle. Okay, so then you don't cut it off. Do not cut it off. Kind of bend the wire so it then looks like this. It could be like a lollipop or something. And then for how long you want it to be. You want a little less than twice that, so I normally want mine down to about here. So I want to bend my wire up to the end of where I'd normally want it, so then it's like that, and then bend it down a little, so it's at about half of what you want. And then cut that. Sorry if I'm talking quiet. I feel too good. So then you have that. That end isn't supposed to be there. I am going to cut it off. Yeah. Little ends do not go. Okay, so then this is what you have now. Sorry if I'm moving too fast. I'm trying to go slower. Like if you're not done, I'll wait. <sighs> so we have so far, it's not great. I like my other one a lot better, but not everything's going to be perfect. So anyway, you're with your pliers, right? you pinch that end to that 
and then kind of just try to, it might be a little hard, but try to kind of pinch it in, dropping it like I am. So it's like that. I'd rather have mine be a little better, but it doesn't want to cooperate right now. You guys are probably like, okay, we're gonna move on. I hope not. Actually, that wouldn't be that. I wouldn't care. Because I'm, like, saying that to myself also. Just darn it. Okay, so then you have that. You can kind of see where it's going. And then with your clay, you just take a sort of little piece and work it so it's soft. Oh, six minutes already? I didn't think it took that long. And then kind of flatten it out. And um, push it in the middle of your uh, creek on that. Uh, brain fart. <laughs> oh, you see my face, darn it. I don't like my face. Sorry about that. Mm, obviously, it's way too big. So just kind of like snip it off with your fingernails. But if you don't have any, <laughs> oh, I think you know what to do. Still too so then just kind of form it around the handle. And there you go. That's your basic one. And then if you do want it, like, because on mine, on my real horse the one, there's like fur everywhere. Also for my goat. I have real goat too. There's a little fur on it. I'm not going to use the toilet paper scar. I don't feel like going into my bathroom and getting one. But just get your paint. And if you have the square, then just wet it a little and brush it on when you want. This isn't wet at all right now, so it's probably not going to work for me, even though I just wetted it. So yeah, and then just when you have your toilet paper square covered oh you see my face um just like wipe it on there kind of or just hold it kind of hard on there and rub it around a little and then it should go on but i'm gonna keep this one plain so yeah that's the basic curry comb homemade um i'll show you what we've made so far I haven't uploaded any yet, so if you're like watching this right now and you skipped one or I put this one first, then you can see what's going to be in the other one, other videos. I'll try to remember what I made first. Oh, I do remember. Okay. I have to get them all. And this is all homemade, remember, so no hard things I don't have much to work with here. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh, no. There we go. Actually, hold on. Ah, you see my face. I'm just going to show you one by one. Okay, so the first thing I made... I don't know if it's going to be in the first video or not. Is this brush. The handle. And then with that you might have gotten a little wash sponge or a sponge to wash your tack with. And then we have our hoof picks. First one, here's the second one, and then we 
have the curry combs we just made. Please tell me if I'm, this is not a curry comb. Pretty sure it is though. So yeah, that's what we just made. I think they're pretty good for being homemade. So yeah, um, hope you like it. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Oh, my face again. Darn it. Um, just like, eh. Yeah, there's my room. There's my wall of horses. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you like it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't see my face. La la. Okay. This is what you get to see when I say bye. Wait. Can you even see my... Ah, uh, no. There's my face again. I don't know what I'm looking at, but... Goodbye. Thanks.